Two reporters had gone to find out the source of the loud music at Anjuna. When they reached the restaurant, three goons accosted them, abused and threatened the reporters. Though FIR has been filed and the goons identified, no arrests have been made so far. Allegedly, one accused is the owner of the controversial property. <laughs> And we just spoke to our reporter who was uh, threatened and abused yesterday with uh, another reporter from another media house. And we, uh, our reporter has already filed an official complaint. FIR has been lodged. Panchnama also has been done. Uh, police has identified all the three accused persons. Uh, but however, search operations are on. DYSP has already formed a team. The uh, higher authorities from the police forces have already formed two teams to uh, and, and have initiated the search operations. However, it's been more than 24 hours now that the attack has happened. But no action. Neither they have been traced nor they have been arrested till date. Our reporters and our team has already submitted the evidence of what happened on site and police are yet to investigate and take action. All we demand is justice If and we all say that if a popular democracy is threatened and abused when they go as to voice up people's issues and this is what happens, this is completely wrong. However, we will give you more updates and these are some of the inputs that are happening but it's been more than 24 hours that nothing has been done. Neither they are arrested nor they have been traced so far. Only they are they have been identified and search operation is on. Meanwhile, the eyewitnesses came forward and recorded a statement before the police and submitted evidence. The police have formed two teams to arrest the accused and a search warrant has been issued. Journalist who is on duty and today you came in support also, you recorded your statement also. So what do you have to say on attack on journalists? Nothing. We were the ones who actually called them because we knew that, you know, if they could come and cover our story, then it would reach to people because that is what they are doing. We today, if we know anything what's happening in this world, in and around, it's because of the journalists only. If they don't publish, if they don't quote, we won't be aware of anything what is happening. So our trust was in them for this purpose, that we knew that they would help us in some way. So we called them. Now they are on duty, they are only doing their work. We have called them. And what is happening with them, that is absolutely not tolerable. But now they have not even come and questioned you or attacked you or, you know, somehow put you in a shame. They were even doing their duty. So I don't think anybody has any right to abuse any reporter on duty or even otherwise to act this way. That is absolutely wrong. It's not acceptable for anybody. It is their duty and I don't think anybody can stop them from doing their duty. It's part of their job role. That is what they are doing. They were not doing anything wrong. So then they started, then the uh, loud noises started coming. Are, I am going to go to I am So then we turned back to see what has happened. So then we saw that they have stopped his bike and they are threatening him. He, the, it was uh, in the middle of the road only and those three people, they are all at the side and they are questioning him. And they were talking all of that and firing backwards. Then I went a little ahead, then I saw Asmita, she came and uh, he started going on her also. So she removed her video and he went on her, he literally in front, uh, abusing her also, firing bad words to her and saying the same thing. All these three things, all these three people were around and they were doing all this mess. Plain anything against them. Our issue was only with the noise. Nothing, we never took their name, they are the uh, property owners over there. And they have given it on rent to some Delhi people who are running it. So our request was only to lower the music, nothing else. Hmm. So I don't, there was actually not even necessary for them to come in this involved uh, to do all of this thing. Clinton D'Souza, Asmita Polji for Herald TV.